Let's get things started! Pokemon match set, ready, go! Round oh, yeah. one. Okay. It's weird, Cabal's wearing a human mask, but I accept it. We're leading off with that Corviknight and Musharna. That's a good, good front line, I think. I gotta say, the humidifier's growing on me. The humidifier's growing on you? I thought it might. Oh my god, I left the stream on way too loud. I'm so sorry about that, everybody in the in, in the audience seats. I just got blasted in the ears. I'm sorry, I got a flashbang. We've got Charizard and Teleon, the old water-fire starter combo. Gonna go ahead and see what we can fish out here in the beginning. And Mina just immediately trying to take a crit, but no luck. Charizard, heat waving for that chip damage between both, and of what? course that does a ton to Corviknight. Corviknight having that weakness to it. Interesting, very aggressive lead up for both opponents. Definitely going for just offense raw out of Mina. Let's see what Cabal does here. Yeah, the Sharma is being flinched off the air slash. Couldn't set up because of the flinch on the air slash. And I no know crit. for the fact that Charizard is durable because he was on my lunchbox for a decade. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Charizard's known for uh, heavy defense and heavy HP stats for sure. Definitely not incredibly weak to a ton of different things. Okay, so let's see. Mina is looking to... Oh, here comes the snipe shot. Let's see if we can get that crit. Fishing for it. And... Wow. Didn't even need the crit to finish off that uh, Raven. Insane. Spent a lot of time hyping up that Corv Knight, only for it to go down immediately. Immediately. It's surprising the Cabal kept it out on, against this uh, enemy team, but Cabal trades and takes the crits off the field, so Ooh. no longer a worry. Okay. Now, will Cabal swap in to Surfetched here? Because we're going to want to see the Grim Snarl setting up screens to kind of slow this game down so Mina can retake momentum. Nobody doing any speed control so far. I don't want to see Grim Snarl oh. do anything. That man terrifies me. And there is exactly what you want to see from Cabal's side, though. I like Oof. this. I like this. No, no real, like, speed... Like, forget the speed control. We're just going to go swinging, just saying, hey, can you keep up? <laughs> <laughs> no, can you keep up? Let's just both punch each other. They're definitely having the world's most JoJo battle as they just continually pummel the shit out of each other. Cabal opting to play it safe, trying to keep Surf Etched on long enough to break a screen. And now we see the screens coming out. Okay, Heat Wave, definitely a good protect on that one. We can see here that uh, Shawarma, pretty thick, can definitely handle those pretty well. And here comes the speed control. Yo, they changed gears at the same time. Absolutely, and it was really, really interesting to watch Cabal read the game and understand that aggression was called for. Cabal could have went for a trick room earlier, but decided to get rid of Inteleon instead when the opportunity was there. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Banger, are you on the edge of your seat yet? Are you sipping your Starbucks? I am sipping my Starbucks. I am, and, and I am literally on the edge of my seat because my little massage chair takes up too much room. Oh, you're, oh, wow, massage chair in the commentator booth. We'd love to see. Okay, and there's the brick break. That was big. Slapping Grimmsnarl down to half HP immediately, but taking a hit in return, and it was a Ooh. big hit. Now, said, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? <laughs> And the answer was no, Quixote had not. So that is all of the screen control Cabal has. Now Cabal needs to figure out whether or not uh, he can get Grimmsnarl off the field in time before Mina really starts to run wild. And that heat wave is still a threat, just chipping away at the team over and over. Neither enemy has uh, Dynamax yet. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Good point. Opting to continue to poke at the uh, AOE stabs from Mina instead of Dynamaxing Charizard. I thought we would see that here. My thoughts are, if you keep access to spread, that is a good option if you hit for neutral on two Pokemon. Absolutely. Okay, Cabal going all in. Probably going to focus the Nidoqueen here, yeah? Imagine. Let's see what we get. Maybe a Nidoqueen Earth Power? Though I guess that wouldn't affect the Charizard. So will we be able to take out the Grimmsnarl before things get real spicy? Grimmsnarl has Prankster, though, so that screen is probably coming back up. Cabal's going to have to work around that for the rest of this match. Here it is. White screen, good option. Definitely. I'm sorry, Fang. The Grimstall is doing things. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ooh, Terrifying. That's cool. Psyshock going around the light screen because it hits for the physical defense. Absolutely. And a dodge on Heat Wave from uh, 
Mel, but Shwarma takes it. Here comes the Max Ooze. Good choice. I do not think oh! Grimmsnarl lives. Good night, Grimmsnarl. <laughs> Sleep tight. Ooh, and a crit. <laughs> okay, we're seeing a special attack increase, kind of like uh, cutting the effects of that screen a little bit. But we got to keep in mind that Mina definitely still has a Dynamax waiting in the back foot. Will they pull the trigger on the frog or maybe the Zard? Now, the problem we're going to run into here is that Toxicroak is not going to have a good time against Earth Power, and I think Mina knows this, so it might be time to Dynamax Charizard yeah. on this one. Yeah, all right, here we go. What coffee did you get today, Fang? Ooh. <laughs> it's the uh, oat milk apple crisp macchiato. <laughs> the more words you added, the bigger I smiled. <laughs> You know, that's funny, I had the inverse effect. Weirdly enough, my face is pulling down, almost in sort of like a a, a weird, like, Renaissance-era painting-esque frown that drops down to my kneecaps. Some Disney Haunted Mansion-looking painting. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if Ghostface was, like, a physical body, that would be me right now. <laughs> and Mina will okay. commit. They are committing. Here it is. Now, let's see how Cabal answers this. Can Cabal take out the Charizard? Did Cabal predict this? and try to all in on Charizard here. Cause I don't think Toxicroak's a big threat to our Needle Queen, so we'll see. <laughs> Yo, this Lark guy's such a hater. Yeah, <laughs> right? Ooh, fake out, picking up regardless of the trick room. Sorry, did somebody in the audience say something? I can't hear them since I'm up here in the commentator booth. Quiet down there, extras. Okay. <laughs> wow, don't worry, Chad, I got this, I got this. Shut up, Lark. Ow, <laughs> God, ah, Waffle. What? What do you want me to do about Controller! it? Controller! <laughs> Come on, with that suit, I can't stop Fang. She's wearing a suit. Uh, yeah, there is the eye patch. That's kind of scary. <laughs> and the mustache. Yeah, that's true. God dang. True. A disappointed <laughs> more father figure. Than a mustache. Just like growing up. Just like... <laughs> just, just, just like when my dad, Solid Snake, would bully me when I was playing Pokemon. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can Cabal come back from this one? It's definitely, definitely in a rough position right now, but that doesn't mean that Cabal can't maybe get a nice crit and bring down Charizard, and then it's just down to Toxicroak versus Mal. Toxicroak, I noticed, has no name. What's that about? We just don't know. Toxicroak is cool enough. No, that's not cool enough. Toxicroak needs a cool name, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, feces punch or something. Hey! What? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm right, right? I, I hope Lurk never has a child. <laughs> what do you mean? What you... <laughs> Blorbo, that's definitely a good one. No, you can't let this MF name anybody. Please. What's wrong with Septic Chop? Come on. <laughs> He's fighting <laughs> poison. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I think everyone's like, what? Oh, what? no. Oh, Needle Queen is hanging in oh. there. Hanging in there. I think the trick room is going to be what decides this and whether or not Cabal can land that crit. Uh, hopefully not a protect play because that Dynamax move will come around it. All right, it'll come down to uh, how this V control looks here. Okay, let's see. Here it goes. Sludge Bomb, Sludge come bomb. on. No, just a little so short. close. Oh, no. Good so night. close. What an incredible, like, ooh, that was maybe the closest match I've seen in Fluffy Barrage. So All right. Wrong and Score good. one goes to Mina. All right, let's let's go back to a little commentary side. Round two. There's definitely something to be said for an all aggression team. It's hard to think your way around that sometimes. Sometimes if someone comes out swinging, you can't get momentum back. <laughs> uh, unga bunga strats, like uh, Ruse said. Absolutely, unga bunga strats. Um, okay, okay. So Mina said if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And Cabal said, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to bring out Mal. I'm going to bring out Chiffon. Chiffon. Um, but I will say Mal in a bad position against this Inteleon. Got Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, couple options here that could definitely work really well. Now, how's Cabal going to react to that? Could see some spicy switches. Of course. Could see spicy switches, could see a protect play. If Cabal knows the matchup, Cabal might know that it's time to protect, try to bait a shot, maybe do something strong. There's a switch, okay. Opting for the tanky team, got it, got it. Very thick, very juicy. Maybe going for a setup on Trick Room. Very well could be. You know, I've never seen an Inteleon crit, despite all of the extra crit chance, not once. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Hyper Voice. Now that is massive. Ooh. There's that chip damage. Cabal Inteleon said, you can do it, endangered. I can do it better. Oh, yeah. Now, the fun thing is that this puts Inteleon um, in a da uh, dangerous predicament if Cabal decides to click Quick Attack, so... Um... <laughs> Absolutely. Now, will Cabal do that, or will Cabal opt for raw spread damage? We have the uh, the benefit of, you know, foresight and seeing what Mina's up to. We know what Cabal should do, but does Cabal do it? Because if you do Quick Attack, and it's the wrong option, maybe Mina goes for a Protect, maybe Mina just... Oh, Nope, no quick attack. Here comes the snipe shot. Oh, not the point. Ooh, no! there, it, there it is. Exactly what we've been waiting for. Inteleon did what Inteleon was set up to do. Hell yeah. Q with the this is good shit. Nice. <laughs> Dude, Inteleon really said, oh my, well, she made you. <laughs> she. All right, that throws a huge wrench in Cabal's plans. But Cabal did get Trick Room out, so speed control is back in Cabal's court. Absolutely. We've got Mal does... out. Oh, excuse, excuse me. Go on. No, please. No, 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 please, please. Oh, no, 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 please. I insist. Oh, you no, have no, a glorious no, 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 no. mustache. I, 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 and I would love to hear the word emanating rather... from that forest of hair. <laughs> I was just going to say that Cabal does still have their humidifier, so at least they're going to be glowing. Oh, in their lane, moisturized. Exactly. <laughs> Flourishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see what happens here. Mina's definitely trying to take out Mal as soon as possible. Mal's a big threat. But oh. now that okay. the game is up, um, I think this is a chance for Cabal to take back some momentum after losing uh, Pokemon to Sylveon. Definitely. Sylveon lost. Uh, did so much work, but man, I miss it already. Oh, interesting. Uh, the Half-Life Shwarma coming out with the Dynamax. Ooh. Let's see what we're going to do with this. I'm curious what the play is here. Oh. Opting to just go uh, go big Whoa. and tell you on Hill. Inteleon went home. <laughs> Definitely good to set up that uh, little bit of heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's going to be big for Shwarma. Good night, King. Now, if I'm not mistaken, max overgrowth is a percentile of healing, right? Yes. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Unfortunate. The numbers are not in Cabal's favor today. The dice gods are trying to outdo Cabal, but that doesn't mean that Cabal can't come back from this. If we land a good poison or if we get some sort of quick kill on Charizard before more damage can be done, I do think that Cabal can still come out on top of this. Yes, and an interesting note too, that Shawarma uh, uh, has the synchronized, so it attempted to pass the burn uh, also to Charizard, but being a fire type, Charizard did not catch that, but a uh, thing to keep in mind for uh, future games. Definitely, definitely. And uh, we do know that Shawarma is now immune to Thunder Wave, but that doesn't mean that Mal is. And we're gonna see here what, oh. What are you pondering? I am pondering that that was maybe not the move I expected to see. We're gonna see a Dynamax come out on Charizard, but uh, Charizard doesn't have the speed control right now and is low enough that if Cabal chooses to play aggressively here, that Charizard is just gonna be out. It's a wasted Dynamax. Let's see what Cabal commits to here. This might be the chance Cabal needs to get back into this game and really establish a strong lead. All right, here we go. Full aggression from uh... Grimmsnarl as well. Cabal probably playing with that fourth slot being surfetched to handle Grimmsnarl, but definitely keeping in the back line, keeping those secrets. Very oh, mystic, very feet. wise. Okay, there's the light screen, hoping to survive this next hit that's coming in. And the Max Mindstorm comes out. Ooh, and that oh is exactly what we were worried about. Yes, with the speed control, Cabal just has free reign to take back momentum this game. Absolutely, and that is a Dynamax that got no use at all, and Cabal still has another turn of Dynamax. Uh, I mean, it's a burnt shawarma, but it's also healing from leftovers, max overgrowth, or, well, not max overgrowth anymore, but leftovers, and it's it's very durable. It doesn't have to really worry about that burn unless something really focuses it down. It's so cute, too. It's just a cute little tapir. <laughs> cute little tapir with a great matchup against Toxicroak and a great matchup against Grimmsnarl. This is a really, really, really rough position for Mina. Let's see if Mina can come back out of it, though. Start throwing hands, meet Cabal in the field of fists instead of brains. Like, I here we Mina see the effect of that early swap out on Mal. Keep it in the back line. That was definitely yeah. important. Oh, Psychic Terrain will protect Mina, or will protect Cabal from Mina's fake out. 
you hate to see it. Psychic terrain is kind of new to a lot of people, and it's, oh. it's it's hard to play around it sometimes. It's hard to remember what it does, and it uh, it has changed the field of Pokemon quite a bit. Spirit Oof. break. Oh, spirits are breaking, all right. Oh yeah, but sh Shawarma coming in clutch, staying strong this whole time. I have never seen this Pokemon come out in a competitive battle, and what a debut for it. What a cool aesthetic Pokemon, all right. Amazing first showing. That is game two to Cabal. We're going to game three. <laughs> match point. All right, match point. How are players going to mix it up? Will Mina swap out that strong lead? Can Mina possibly? Let's see if we keep that Charizard in the back, maybe, as an ace this time. Nope, we're doing Charizard and Teleon, and that's fine. That's a heavy-hitting duo and covers a lot of different uh, weaknesses. That's actually still pretty good. Okay, raw aggression again. We're going to see that uh, spread damage in the ice beam. No? Oh, snipe shot for the hope on the crit. Here we go. Maybe if we can get Schwarm off the field really early. Erzy. I like how it points. Yeah, it's, it's, it's menacing. It's Don't very cool. Today, but Chiffon's going to dodge the heat wave. Dodge on Chiffon? That's big. That's right. actually really big. And here comes that Hyper Boy spread damage. This is the exact same lead up we saw last Ooh. match. And this time it's a high roll. And Teleon ending up with 10 less HP than last time. And Cabal going for raw oh. aggression as well. You see them just punching the shit out of each other again. Uh, thank you. I get your best Muda Muda. Off. Good night. <laughs> no! Bang? What? Let Being me get your best Muda Muda. Come on. <laughs> what? Thanks, Ian Grace, because that was a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I contribute! <laughs> Fang can come off of the stream like, I did it. I was the best commentator. Come off with that and the bonus, obviously. You guys didn't know, but Waffle's giving a bonus to anybody who makes the best joke as a commentator this session. <laughs> <laughs> we might see an early Dynamax. Okay, okay. Looks a little bit to me like that might be a panic Dynamax. Like maybe Mina's sweating trying to get the shawarma off the field, but you never know. This might work you out just fine. You never know. This could be anyone's game. Opting not to do a fake out despite not having psychic terrain. Interesting. No really trick room either. Mm -hmm. Makes you really makes you think. Like I am actively thinking right now. I think Mina has speed control, but has maybe been conditioned by Cabal these last two matches to think that uh, think that they're slower. But Cabal definitely is on the slower end here. With Charizard coming out on that Dynamax, so it's possible we can see Mina come out on top of this attack. Here it is, the big Zard. The big Zard. <laughs> Already down by, uh, you know, about a fourth of its HP, but that's not the end of the world. Oh, Cabal matching it. Maybe going for a psychic terrain, predicting the fake out. Let's take a look, see. Okay, here we are. Our aces again. Cabal really challenging Mina, saying, hey, this worked for me last time. Uh, can you figure it out? Absolutely, but Mina coming in uh, with a little bit more HP on that Charizard this time. Definitely not going to go down to one hit unless something crazy happens. Ooh, Whoa. that was big. And Poison oh. Touch to boot. Oh, I love you, Tachikroak. Yeah, I'm your biggest fan. We love Poison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Max Void of Shwarma. Yeesh. That is a big turn. We're gonna see what uh, Hyper Voice can do before this round is over. Can Chiffon do enough damage going out of the field? And I'd say so, yeah. Ooh. Definitely. Toxicroak doing its job before it drops, but uh, oof. I'll never look at humidifiers the same way again after this. Absolutely. You gotta watch out. Sometimes they'll just pop your skull from a distance using just the power of their brain. <laughs> Don't leave that shit on at night. Turn it off. <laughs> Wait, you don't leave your humidifier on at night? <laughs> well, not anymore. Cringe. Oh, Ooh. but Mina getting rid of the Dynamax target. Okay, so Whoa. two Pokemon by Pokeball, two on Mina. But Mina does have the Dynamax Pokemon and a Wildfire on the field. How will this play out? Do we think Cabal has Sir Fetched in the back? Really well could. We're going to find out, though, because we don't have that perspective, but there's the, Mina's last Pokemon here. It's Grimmsnarl, Fang's favorite. I mean, go Mina! Okay, seeing the same exact team comps from both uh, enemies, but Cabal switching the order in which they come out. Now, can Cabal keep Quixote, uh, Quixote alive long enough to handle these screens that are inevitably coming out to keep this Charizard as Dynamax as long as possible? 
Wait, Quixote, does that mean Cabal also has a Pokemon named Dawn on their no, team? No, that's you, Fang. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Things going up. Anybody with a mustache like that has to be named Dawn. There's no other way. Okay, here comes that G Max wildfire. Ooh. Spicy. Yep, Brick Break coming down immediately, setting that screen right off in a crit. Oh, maybe the numbers are on Cabal's side this time, getting those bad rolls out of the way in round one. This could really be anyone's game. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Bang, are you commenting on your latte or on a, this match? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's def definitely my latte. Um, what's happening in the match? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm commenting on my delicious uh, Bang Energy, which is this stream sponsor today. No, <laughs> Yo, Bang's going out the door anyway. I think we can we can make up lies, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we stream wait, sponsored by Bang Energy. <laughs> we got sued, so we're evaporating. Oh, Again. Oh, okay, Quixote okay. goes for a protect, which I don't think is going to survive a wildfire, but if it could bait even one more of those and not die, that would be massive. Cabal has to take a Pokemon out this turn, or it is going to be a very bad time. And ooh. <laughs> fell that out affected of me. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that affected me too. Oh, Quixote did protect on that, though. That was big. That was really big. And now Cabal has speed control because of Trick Room. Can Cabal finish both Pokemon off in one turn before the Wildfire does its job? Actually, I don't think Cabal ever set up Trick Room with the uh, Dynamaxing uh, there. Um, the oh, you're right. There was no uh, Trick Room. So, But the interesting thing, though, is that uh, Nidoqueen is faster than Charizard here. Really? Interesting. I would expect Charizard to be a little bit of a speedster comparatively, but we'll see how it goes. Opting for the screens instead of a protect. Definitely. Uh-oh. An incredibly soft oh. move for Mina. Maybe needed aggression in this situation, and there's another brick rate for to get rid of the screen. Ooh, a moment of silence in chat, please. Another crit. That leak do work. Yes, and that means that Cabal will be winning this game. Let's get that winner. Let's get that going. Ready, set. Oh, the winner is... <gasps> Cabal! <laughs> oh, so I don't believe it! So soft and so sweet. <laughs> so soft. What an insanely good matchup.